Greece's anti-austerity prime minister sworn in the election of a new anti-austerity government in Greece is raising questions about how the debt-laden state will satisfy its creditors and citizens weary of cost-cutting measures. The leader of the left-wing Syriza party, Alexis Tsipras, was sworn in as Greece's new prime minister on Monday after forming a coalition with the right-wing independent Greeks party. Cyprus has vowed to end austerity measures and renegotiate the terms of Greece's European Union bailout. Since 2010, Greece has received bailouts totaling 240 billion euros. In return, the International Monetary Fund, European Commission and European Central Bank demanded tax hikes, a freeze on state pensions bans on early retirement and deep cuts in government salaries. What are the yes pledges to try to get some of Greece's colossal debt written off and roll back on popular austerity measures appealed to exasperated members of the electorate, even if they potentially jeopardize Greece's place in the Eurozone? The party's victory could lead to a dramatic showdown with the debt-laden nation's lenders. A woman carrying a baby casts her vote in the Greek general election at a polling station in a school in a suburb of Athens on January 25, 2015. Anti-austerity parties gaining momentum in Europe to 23 play video Syriza's message is one that has also resonated in other southern European countries under the restrictions of international bailouts. Its victory could boost other populist parties such as Beth Grillo's anti-Euro five-star movement in Italy and the Podemos movement in Spain. Declaring victory for Syriza on Sunday after polls showed it winning at least 149 seats in the 300-seat parliament, Cyprus, 40, appeared to brace for a bigger battle. We are regaining our lost dignity. Now that we are heard by all of Europe, we will fight with the same passion, the same confidence, he told cheering supporters. So let's go and let's all continue this beautiful and tough fight, he said. Greece leaves behind the austerity that ruined it, leaves behind the fear, leaves behind five years of humiliation, and Greece moves forward with optimism and hope and dignity, he told the crowd. New anti-austerity government worries markets European Central Bank Executive Board member Minwa Seer told CNN on Monday that Greece would still have to pay its debt. They have to pay. Those are the European rules of the game. There is no room for unilateral action in Europe. That doesn't exclude a discussion, for example, on the rescheduling of this debt. But I would like to underline that it's not the ECB's money, it's the government's money. It's a discussion between Mr. Tsipras and the European government's Chief EU Commission spokesman Margaret Skinas said it respected the sovereign choice of the Greek people. We are ready to engage with the new government once it is formed. Greece has made remarkable progress in recent years, and we stand ready to continue to assist Greece in addressing the remaining reform challenges, he said.